Good afternoon, everyone. Welcome to Great Day, Connecticut. Time to smile here on Kara Sundlin. Scott Haney here. The producer is saying what random video we had for the people on the bicycle. I don't know what they were there for. The well, we're making from, people happy. It's a good day to ride bikes, good right? Day to, yeah, get out there, ride a bike. Ride it, ride it, go to New Milford and visit. Uh, you've got Mark Robbins and Connor Lewis. They're going to be at 20 towns in 20 days, starting at 4 o'clock on the New Milford Green. And the weather, 80 degrees, Kara. I mean, that's pretty good. It's so nice. So, yeah, it's getting warm. The only we got warm with, yesterday, the too. The only problem with opening up windows is that people allergies. are suffering with allergies. Exactly. So. Well, you got to be careful. Yeah. All right, so this is the best video you're going to see all day. It's, of course, Patty Lapone, who lives here in Connecticut. She called someone out in the audience for not wearing their mask, and it is the best. Do we have the video, Jamie? All right, here we go. She is unbelievable. <laughs> She's known to con con have confrontation with the audience. Wow. And, and these people were not wearing their masks properly. They were not covering their nose. And Patty Lapone went off on them and said, if you are not happy with yeah, the rules, get the, you know what, out. Get, get, get out. Get out. Get out. So that's Patty Lapone. Of course, she lives right the here in Connecticut. Maybe she's watching us right now. The representative for the show says the two people did end up leaving the theater. Yeah, they, they got up and left. I would, I, would, I would have gotten up and left myself. I wow. would have been embarrassed. Wow. Yeah. Oh, Kara. This is such sad news. Yeah. So uh, we have gotten word late this morning that they, uh, that they well, we knew Naomi name, name Judge, we'd be able to watch the memorial service, but it's now come out that she took her own life self by shooting herself. Yeah, self-inflicted gunshot wound, so which is really unfortunate. So sad, so sad. She's such a beautiful soul. And uh, they're going to have a live sad. televised memorial service for the country music legend on Sunday. CMT and Sandbox Live will air the service commercial free at 6 p.m. Eastern time. So if you're interested and uh, you feel the need, uh, you can check it out. It's going to be held at the former home of the Grand Old Opry. What is, how do you say that? Ryman Auditorium in Nashville? Okay, Ryman Auditorium in Nashville. So, so the performers and speakers have not yet been announced, but Winona and Ashley Judd did share that they had lost their mother due to the disease of mental illness. We now know exactly just uh, how sad it was, and, and yeah, obviously was, it wasn't an accident. People were wondering, like, how could Naomi Judd have died? And now we know, and it's just, just awful just because she's sad. so beautiful and she's so talented. And I was watching an interview just the other day um, with the head of Bonobos on CBS News. Yeah. And you know, here he is, this multi-million dollar entrepreneur, and he struggles with bipolar disorder. And he said, we need to normalize in this country the conversation about creativity and disorder. That yep. sometimes our most creative and most brilliant people out there also struggle with disorder. Yep. And so, just And so Bonobos, sad. If, if you don't know, it's a very, very successful uh, clothing line. Very yes. successful clothing. Do they make women's clothes, or it's just basically men's? You know, I know it mostly for the men's shorts I know, and I know, everything. I know it for the men's clothing. I don't yeah. really know if they do too much in the way of women's clothing, but uh, great, great line of clothing. Mm -hmm. Anyway, Netflix could start running ads by the end of the year. That's sooner than originally indicated. The New York Times shared the news, citing a recent note to employees share them, that shared it with them anonymously. So it looks like by the end of the year, maybe even October or November, Kara, they could start. Now, this is going to be a lower tiered service. You're going to pay less. You pay less and you get the you ads, get the just ads. like regular TV. Right, which I'm, I'm totally fine with. I'd rather pay less and get ads, you know, because you just kind of get go. Now, but you won't be able to fast forward through the ads, I'm sure. Yeah, exactly. You, that's when you go get your popcorn. You go right through the ads and you yeah, say, okay, there's an ad Sometimes the commercials on. are good. They yeah, you need you a little, little breather. Break. Gives you a little break. And then especially at the end, if you run the commercial instead of the play another episode in 5, 4, 3, 2, two one. 1. Yeah, I like the commercials. Like, let's go. Let's Ex get to bed. Exactly. <laughs> All right. So uh, yesterday, Google unveiled a whole bunch of new products. And this is its first ever in-person developer conference um, since the pandemic. And you get new, uh, there's three new smartphones and the first in-house smart watch. So this is obviously all the things that they have that compete with Apple. Yeah, of course. And it looks like this gonna, they're going to be coming out with it. It looks pretty interesting. Of course, I don't understand any of it. Um, the new, more affordable version of their 6A smartphone. Oh, they have the 6A smartphone. It's a more affordable version of the Pixel 6 is going to be available July 21st. So I guess you can get a phone now through Google. I didn't know you could do that. They have Google phones. Google sure. phones. Sure, mm -hmm. everything there. Well, everything you're going to go and pick out a new phone today, so you'll understand all the options out there. I'm going to try. <laughs> I don't know if I'm going today, Kara. It's okay. a little too much for me to comprehend. Yeah, I'm getting a new work phone, so I'm like, 
Oh, I got to take the number with me. I want to make sure all my photos come with me. It, it all works. Just go get help. So I'm going to go, go get help. Go into the store and say help me. Help me. Help, help me, me. Help me. A new line of Barbie doll features for the first time. They're wearing hearing aids. Which is just absolutely awesome. Yeah, they're really. We've been having these stories, you know, about once a week of all the different things that they're doing at Barbie to normalize uh, differences and emphasize diversity and inclusion. And so she is wearing, this little doll's wearing hot pink hearing aids. Which is just great. It matches her lipstick, which is terrific. <laughs> Another doll has a prosthetic leg, and there is a Ken doll with a skin condition. He's on the right. Um, yeah, and it's just uh, it's just great. It includes it's inclusive of every different type of body that's out there and every different type of condition. Yeah, so. they're changing the shape of the bodies too. They're going to yeah, make some of them great. with smaller chests and just all different shapes. Which is true. Look at all these nice Barbies. Look at them. Look at them. Look at them all. It's what a we, what Barbie did we world. Say? What did we say? Two seconds. One a Barbie is sold every two, every seconds, two seconds somewhere that in the world. That was the story we had. Every two seconds, a Barbie is sold. That is a lot of Barbies. Representation matters, so now they can buy one that actually helps represent reality. Is this Balenciaga? Yeah. Did I say that right? It, yes. So it launched its new Paris sneaker week, uh, and it has these are the shoes. Oh come on. And they're like two thousand dollars. Two thousand dollars. You pay extra to have them worn in. Looks like you dr got dragged through the mud. They're and limited edition. Only a thousand will be made, right? A oh, hundred pairs Excuse of these will me. be. Well, a hundred. A hundred pairs of these extra destroyed shoes will be available to buy. A hundred. I know I'm going to run right out and get them so I can put them on and, and now add them to my wardrobe. Now you can get less destroyed versions, and yeah. those cost less. Oh, okay. The more they destroy them, the more it costs. How about a brand new pair of sneakers that look brand new? I, that's what I'm saying. You know what I mean? Well, that doesn't interest. That doesn't. That, as Shania Twain would say, that don't impress me much. Yeah. Wah wah wahoo. Well, it's like you know when you get the holes. The jeans. holes in the jeans. Did you pay extra yeah. for that? Yeah. It's like yeah. I ever Jamie. Well, I she wears get... holes in her jeans, and I'm like, what are you oh, doing? They're She's fashionable. like, I paid for these things, and I'm like, okay, whatever. I do have some holy jeans. Yeah. She's your hip. Your hip replacement is what you are. <laughs> All right. <laughs> so Best Buy wants you to save money in a big way. It already wants you to have the Best Buy, but now they're really trying to live up to their name, and they're opening up more outlets where they say they'll offer the Best Buy on anything from computers to earbuds to even washers and dryers. And it's uh, like this, they, remember the, Sears Dings and Dents? Yeah, this is they still like, have that. Yeah, this is going to be bought. This is going to be Best Buy's Dings and Dents. But they also have them like you know perfectly new, kind of reconditioned and guaranteed. Sure. Yeah. Absolutely. So they're opening up more outlets. I think that's a great well, idea. Well, you know, some people do just buy. I guess the hard part is you don't know. But people do sometimes buy, get it home, and go, this isn't what I wanted. I'm going to return it right now. Exactly. You so. know what? I'm, I'm so good for Best Buy. I love the, I love the, I think they said there's 32 of the outlets right now. 32. Grand total, 32 new outlets will be reportedly have more items to choose from. Good. I love, I love a good choice. And I love Betty White. Yes, if you love Buddy White, this auction is for you. It's you have awesome. to have some cash. You're going to have a little cash. But you can own a beloved piece of her legacy. It's a script of the Golden Girls 1992 finale, all signed by the cast. See, I think that's worth way more than they're estimating. Three to $5,000? I think that's that, low. That, that, well, that, yeah, I agree. I mean, usually these auctions, we're hearing these un, 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 prices. unheard of prices, but they've also got a 1990, uh, one of the dresses she wore to the 1990. Um, Emmys. She's got. They have things from her home. About oh, fifteen hundred items. That's so fun. Oh, Betty, 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 Betty. And plus, they're going to give away some of her awards, jewelry, all a bunch of different things. So the bidding starts September twenty third, online. You can go to. Uh, it's a three day event in Beverly Hills, also online starting September twenty third. Can you sing it? Which one? The baby orangutan's name. Uh, what is it? It's Jolene. Jolene, 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 Jolene. Yes, that's the name of this little baby orangutan in Oregon. Uh, there it is. Oh, oh Jawooja. And uh, so the lyrics describe it's Dolly Parton song, "Flaming Locks of Auburn Hair." Look at that bit. Look at them. They're beautiful. Oh, oh I want to snuggle look it. Look at that little... And they said the mother is doing her motherly duties. She's a first-time mom. She's a first-time mom. She's 20 years old. Jolene's father's name is Bob, who was transferred from South Carolina's Greenville Zoo in 2014. So apparently they hit it off. And, and if you go to the zoo this summer, if that's one of your stops on your summer vacation, you're going to get to see the whole family in their outdoor habitat. I just think this is absolute magic. I just, I just think it's oh, absolutely I could spectacular. Oh, watch it all day. It's so 